One of the great things about PWCs is how flexible they are. They get in shallow water, they're easy to trailer, but what so many of us do is just keep it at our dock and use it in the same lake all season. So this week we're going to try something different. Together with our friends at Yamaha who have lent us these SVHO wave runners, my wife and I have set a challenge. We're going to try and take five lakes down in five hours. What time do we got right now? Two minutes to 11. Okay, we got to be done by four. Let's do this. Our plan is to start by circling Lake of Bays near Dwight, Ontario, then trailer over to Peninsula or Penn Lake, where we'll head westward through the old steamship canal into Ferry Lake, through the canal that bisects Huntsville and into Vernon before racing back and hitting our fifth and final target, Mary Lake. Step one, launch in Lake of Bays, which has a great paved public ramp. And Mother Nature is cooperating too. What a brilliant day. Being midweek, the sandy beach here is totally empty, but no time to lounge. Jay and I discussed the plan of attack on a lake that, like the beach, is virtually unused today. We don't chat for long though. We have a long way to go and a lot of fun to have. So we start cruising along the tree-lined shore dotted with cottages, but soon veer towards the center of the lake to rip across and check out why this lake has the name it does. These supercharged wave runners, the FZS and FX, sure do make quick work of that. Lake of Bays is just that, a good sized body of water comprised of a bunch of bays to explore. These range from tiny and shallow, perfect for exploring by PWC, to the bigger, more open bays popular for water skiing, wakeboarding and just all around cruising fun and fun we certainly are having. Bright sun, empty lake, my best friend, and two awesome machines to boot around on. How could it get any better? But this is no casual tour. This is serious business with bragging rights on the line. So Lake One has to come to an end, though not before an obligatory photo op. Say cheese. Now that we've got that out of the way, we've got Lake One off the list and we say good day to Lake of Bays. A short drive and we pull into the public but somewhat covert launch ramp at Lake Two. Now Lake of Bays is down Lake One, that was the easy one. We're here about to launch in Penn Lake. Now this is gonna be the biggest haul of this challenge. From here, we're gonna connect through to Ferry Lake, then on to Vernon, then come all the way back and we still have to get to that fifth lake in time. With a little help from our feathered friend, who insists on helping, we're guided into the water and ready to keep going. A quick and easy launch means we don't burn off much time, so our goal is still feasible. And away we go. Peninsula Lake, known by locals simply as Penn Lake, is much smaller than Lake of Bays, but it's plenty big enough for hundreds of cottages and has eight and a half square kilometers of surface area. More than enough room for some great boating while not having to worry about big waves or crazy winds. Here at Hidden Valley Bay, there are private docks across the road from Hidden Valley Highlands Ski Area, where Winter Olympic gold medalist Dara Howell learned to ski, as did I, though to much less success. But reminiscing of my lack of Olympic hardware does nothing but kill time, so again, we're off. And once we pass the historic Deerhurst Resort, we arrive at the mouth of the old Steamers Canal. Now filled in with lots of shoreline growth, this was originally dredged out in the late 1880s. It allowed larger steamships to pass from Huntsville into the lake, where there were logging operations and, a few years later, the resort. It's much shallower than the lakes on either side and of course narrow, but there's plenty of room for cottage boats to get through as this is the only water access to the adjoining lake. The speed limit means it's also a nice chance to chat while we're putting along side by side. The only bridge over the canal marks roughly the halfway point and a good spot for us to take a break from our challenge. A little later in the show, we'll continue on to lake number three and Huntsville, but can we beat the clock? Welcome back to the Five Lakes in Five Hours Challenge. 
When we left off, we were midway through the old steamer's canal between Penn and Ferry Lakes. Right around here, it opens up a bit, but the speed limit is still in effect. As you'd expect, the middle is the deepest, so that's where the bigger boats stay. But in a PWC, we're able to explore a bit more. But be careful, because it gets very shallow. The final section is so wide open, the speed limit is a mere tease, but with a day like this, we are not complaining. As soon as we hit Ferry Lake, Jay punches the throttle and I do my best to keep up. Roughly the same size as Penn Lake, Ferry is a lot deeper and can get rougher, but nothing too bad in the grand scheme of boating. It's also pretty popular given its central location. That's us, right there in the middle of those tubers and joyriders. Right about here, we cross the geographic midway point of this three-lake round-trip leg of our challenge, and time is still on our side. Entering the Muskoka River to head through downtown Huntsville and into Vernon, once again, we're in a no-wake zone. Much wider and deeper than the last canal, this river is lined with houses and businesses, and of course, wildlife. The slow speed gives us another chance to cruise side by side and soak up the scenery. Nearing the historic swing bridge, which no longer swings, the traffic picks up, but there's plenty of room in this river for everyone. As we arrive in the town center, we can't help but notice just how good that patio looks. So, what to do? Lunch break. We'll put the five hour clock on pause while we have a relaxing bite and then get back at it. And in terms of views, it doesn't get much better than this. When lunch is done, the clock starts ticking again. We've got to get back out there, so we say goodbye to Huntsville Town Center and continue westward towards Lake Vernon, still on pace to achieve our goal. After whipping through Hunter's Bay and the Narrows, we arrive in Vernon, the largest of the Three Lake chain, roughly double the size of Ferry Lake. We've got a lot of water to cover. But we're still looking good time-wise. The plan on the western extreme of this leg is to do a giant figure eight around Big and Centerview Islands before shooting back through the Narrows. Thanks again to the supercharged and super comfortable wave runners, we're able to do it very quickly. Just like that, we're heading back towards Hunters Bay and the Muskoka River through Huntsville. The railway bridge marks the start of the no-wake zone once again. It's hard not to stop at another one of the waterfront patios as we cruise back through Huntsville's town center, but we're right on the wire time-wise and have to keep going. As we go back under the old swing bridge, we gotta make an executive decision. Once out of the Muskoka River, we could go to the fourth lock by going through the Brunel Locks off Ferry Lake, but that's a long haul there and back. So we stick with our original plan once we get back into the open lake and race eastward towards the Steamers Canal and Penn Lake. Later in the show, we'll head for our fifth and final lake, but will we hit our deadline or will someone's gallivanting run the clock? Welcome back to our five lakes and five hours challenge. We've already ticked four off the list, starting with Lake of Bays, then Penn Lake, which we were able to connect through to Ferry Lake and into Huntsville, where we stopped for lunch. From there, we continued into Lake Vernon before racing back all the way to Penn Lake. Coming back through the canal, you may hear the thwack of golf balls as one of Deerhurst's golf courses is right along the North Shore. As we pass under the bridge, I see we've crossed the four hour mark, but there's nothing we can do to speed things up here. So along we go, hoping we're able to make it. As soon as we clear the markers, it's back on the throttle. Short work to get across the small lake, but getting back into the lake I grew up boating on, where it's calm and warm, I can't help but have some fun on this wave runner. Fun, sure, but I lose track of the time and chew up five minutes we really need. 
As we get back to the bay where we first launch, the time has ticked down to only 50 minutes remaining. And we still have to get these back on the trailer and drive to the final lake. Okay, that's four lakes down. We still have some time. Oh yeah. Okay, we're off. Okay, let's do this. See you on Lake 5. Four down, one to go, and we head south. It's about a 30-kilometer drive from where we leave Penn Lake to the southern shore of Mary Lake, where we're going to launch. We could have come through the Brunel Locks, which have meant navigable boating between Ferry and Mary Lakes since 1873, but we thought this was faster. To keep it sporting, we took the back roads that passed the lock instead of the major highway. And while quicker than putting along in No Wake River for six and a half kilometers, this was not a fast drive, and it's gonna be close. So we've had a fun day, and as you can probably tell by the sun right now, it's been a long day. Now, we took a one hour time out for lunch, so we'll add that to the original plan. How are we doing for time with that factored in? I don't think we're gonna make it. What, what does it say? We have four minutes. Oh. Well, we can still splash these. We can be in five lakes within five hours. We gotta go. Okay. Another well-maintained public ramp makes for a smooth and fast final launch. And though the clock's ticking down, we're able to get these two off the trailer in just two minutes. And as the clock nears our self-imposed deadline, we hit the throttle and we're off to explore our fifth lake of the day. Maybe it's semantics, but I call this a win. Sure, we didn't finish exploring five lakes in five hours, but we did get in five lakes in five hours. And we had a ton of fun. Not a bad way to spend a day with your best friend. <laughs>